Nice. Good afternoon, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome back on my YouTube channel, Ivan Atero. Welcome to your weekly love tarot reading, September 11th until 17th, 2023. I hope you will find your story. If you want to talk to me, schedule private reading. Shamanic healer. Geminis, you are in a week of cleansing. You need to clean your life from old energy, old boyfriend, uh, girlfriend, or um, spouse even. So everything from your past <clears throat> needs to disappear. Honey, I know this is so easy for me to say such a thing. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but you know, you have friends, you have family, someone who will help you to clean inside and out. So, just remember this, because I can see a face of your future boyfriend, and especially if you are a woman watching this weekly tarot love reading. So, I know some of you need to heal your heart, but in front of you is six of wands, which is success. Actually, this means you will heal yourself in a such a fantastic way, in such a successful way. And I said many, many times in my reading, actually, how can really, how you can heal your heart, whether you're a man or woman. This uh, remedy is goes, you know, for men and for women as well. Um, actually, there's only one way. <laughs> You know, you should meet or you should fall in love with somebody else. So I think nothing else actually can happen to forget, you know, this person who left or maybe you left or maybe this person hurt you, whatever happened. So let's not talk that much about your past. Let's talk about present and future moment. Six of Wands is telling me that it looks like you will tie the knot with new person. And it looks like this is the biggest moment of your victory, you know, like, you know, when you will, you will notice you don't think of your ex at all anymore. Two of Swords, honey, I know, it's been many, many months, maybe year or two, in which you've been single, desperately looking, you know, for someone. But my cards are saying, you know, many of you wasn't ready for big new step. Now, literally, many of you will have two people buzzing around you because I can see you, Gemini, you are literally on the crossroad. Of course, who might tempt you? I won't lie, Geminis. For some of you, this is your ex, but you are on the crossroad. I don't think you want to get back, but mostly I think you will hesitate should you enter into a new relationship? Should you listen to your common sense? Should you listen to your heart? Should you ask more questions? Should you put this person on a test? Like what you should do? I think maybe you should give yourself a little bit more time. This time around, Geminis, you should be, like really, you should be more picky about you know new person but i can see clearly this time you will make the right choice also i can see two people is choosing you two people want you and yes i can see doubt of yours i can see clearly you know you have a doubt because because you don't want to make another mistake this is exactly what is on your mind so two people are watching you probably you want to know zodiac sign uh, Eris Lyosec, another Gemini, Libra, also could be Aquarius, but also this person is Scorpio, so could be very powerful, desirable person, and this person could be so sexy, so hot, so handsome, this might frighten you, you know, a little bit. You attract me like a magnet. So it's undeniable, very, very passionate, very physical um, chemistry, you know, um, between the two of you. And I think, you know, I think this is like for the first time in your life, you know, actually, well, maybe at least in you know, some of you, you're like, you are frightened, like you're freaking out, like, you know, oh, this person is way too good looking, uh, this ain't gonna last, 
you know, uh, something. But also, you know, this story could be, you know, vice versa. So, I can see magnetic attraction, very powerful between the two of you. But this person is so lovely. I mean, just look at this face. So peaceful, so down to earth. Almost like, I don't know, you or this person, like you are not aware how beautiful you are. So, especially if you have a woman watching this, you know. I don't know, maybe this person is a healer. Or maybe a tarot reader, maybe a astrologer, maybe maybe a doctor, maybe a shrink. Who knows? Come closer. Come closer to me. And just hug me. Just kiss me. This energy between the two of you is way too powerful. You can't dismiss energy of this person. You can't dismiss. There is something brewing. There is something cooking, you know, between the two of you. So, six of wands, I mean, Gemini's, you know, don't forget, you have six of wands in your reading. Try to enjoy the very present moment of your big victory. Because this person will say in this week, I'm totally in love with you. I'm so mesmerized, uh, you know, with you. But also you will get a lot of respect from this person, which is crucial, especially for you Geminis, because I think many of you are hurt. So this person will notice you are shaking, you are afraid, a little bit, you know, insecure, because, you know, this person is also very, you know, empathic. And this person is saying, come closer. You don't need to be afraid of me. I really don't want to hurt you in any way. Four of Wands, honey. Four of Wands, six of Wands. Okay, Geminis. So this is the face of your future fiancé. There you go. There you go. Four of Wands, engagement. This very second, you have no clue, but quite very soon, you will be able to say to yourself, I did it. You know, I did it. So you will tie the knot, and the two of you, you will end up together. So enjoy this present moment of your such a big, you know, victory. Because it looks like both of you are deeply in love. Or you will discover this person is crazy over you. And this person actually has so many serious plans with you. King of Swords, of course, Gemini, this could be you. Could be another Gemini. Could be Libra. Could be Aquarius. But also in the tarot, King of Swords uh, actually talk about final decision. So this person, whoever they are, whoever I see in a reading, um, is a person making final love decision about you. Sometimes you feel, but this person is not showing all of their feelings. Uh, or maybe you're saying this person is not showing, you know, at all feelings, you know, towards, you know, me. You need to know this person is a little bit, you know, like you. And please admit, you know, you can be a little bit, you know, rational, coldish, you know, sometimes when your minds, when your thoughts is, guys, you know, completely, you know, sour else. Believe me, this person have a great sense of humor. Believe me, this person is a little bit, you know, just like you, very sharp, moral, intelligent, and ethical, above all, ethical. You have all reasons uh, in the world to say yes. So, just, you know, keep on your mind, keep on your mind. Uh, this person is so calm, so calm. And, you know, sometimes you ain't going to be able to read minds of this person. But when this person starts speaking up, you will remember what I'm what I'm saying to you right now, uh, in a very slow way, sensual way, you know, this person literally is saying, come closer to me. I want to kiss you. 
and then you will recognize there you go do you believe me now Gemini's it's a perfect perfect match from this second on believe me I have nothing else to add because I really really think I said it oh Gemini's seriously you should watch this reading at least twice it's a perfect match perfect perfect match I only can imagine and I do expect in this week this person will become your fiance comment like share subscribe God bless bye